It's been one year since President Obama signed the new Health Care Act into law. After one year, I believe that it's even uh, doing more harm than what I thought when I voted against it a year ago. Included in the 2,000 pages of the law are provisions that harm small businesses. The American people are livid over being told what kind of insurance they have to get. This will add trillions of dollars to our deficit over the next two decades. We need to repeal and replace this health care law. The latest Gallup poll shows support actually falling for the health care reform law. Vice President Biden declared the magnitude of the impact of the health care bill. That magnitude is turning out to be higher cost, less benefit, and more regulation. Then Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi promised it would create jobs. So they not only haven't created jobs, they've lost 800,000. It's hurting jobs, not helping jobs. The big thing still is jobs, jobs, jobs. Create new jobs that we desperately need. Job creation should be the number one priority. The last thing we should do is be taxing businesses like this. America's on an unsustainable course. The U.S. pays $616 million every day. That is in interest alone. Our deficit has exploded and uh, the federal debt's north of $14 trillion. Our national debt is now up to over $14 trillion and growing at a pace of $4 billion a day. Our problem in our country, borrowing $4 billion a day. They are going to borrow 40 cents out of every dollar that they spend this year. At a time when we borrow 40 cents for every dollar we spend, we have to stop spending money that we do not have. We have a debt crisis looming. Debts have to be paid. We have to reduce spending in a major way. We've got to reduce and eliminate wasteful Washington spending. Aren't Republicans functionally winning because every temporary bill has actually included cuts? The total in this uh, last uh, month and one week will be 10 million, excuse me, 10 billion dollars in spending cuts um, that uh, will over a 10 year period of time save the taxpayers 140 billion dollars. All in all, a good day's work. As you know, President Obama, a big fan of the March Madness. He's not afraid to bet on the games. Well, sure, if he loses, our kids will pay for it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> not a problem.